How's it going, Short Kings? Poonmaster back again with the Dwarves. We got a tough game here against number six, Michigan. And this is not going to be an easy one. But before we get into that, let's make sure that we do our recruiting. A lot of points that we can put into stuff. Probably do some scouting as well. There's a solid amount of guys that we're starting to pull away from. And a lot of guys that we need to start putting a lot of points into quick. But we're going to scout pretty much everybody the rest of the way this week. We now know this kicker's speed and kick accuracy. That is not good kick accuracy. Let's be real. Eric Hall stays at that 68 overall. Corey Hawk stays also at the 68 overall. We get a plus two. They are up to 69 <laughs> overall for Pete Sing Peter Singleton. Adam Boone goes up another four overall, also to a 69. <laughs> Not the fastest back, but he's got some good strength, and hopefully he could, uh, you know, make a decent power back or maybe a full back. But we have a solid lead with Gabe Holland, and we're gaining as well on Nebraska. 350 points a week, so we can take a couple hundred away from Gabe here. Allocate those elsewhere. Jawan Britton, basically in the same boat. Uh, Stanford falling 630 a week, so they really don't care about him. We'll give Peter Singleton the full 500 and try to hold on here. Jermaine Preston's going to get a full 500. And Ron Mayo is going to get the last 150, almost exclusively because of that name. Well, let's get into this. Hopefully it's not too bad of a beating. Kirk Herbstreet predicting Michigan to win this one. They've got the edge in most categories. Uh, Michigan hasn't played the toughest teams yet. A pretty close win to 0-2 uh, Central Michigan and a 10-point win to a 1-2 Purdue. So we've got a decent chance here, I think. We're going to go with this kind of lighter blue look in the away uniforms. This Alt-2 jersey, or alternate away, it's got a C in the middle of the jersey. I got to be honest, I have no idea what that means. It's definitely not captain. It's definitely not the center. And they've got the shaky bars definitely in their favor. If we're going to win this, it's going to be pure luck. Uh, and maybe, maybe a little bit of nice execution, but almost entirely luck. Well, unfortunately for Michigan, they do have a corner out for the season. Maybe that helps us find an open receiver. They've got really good players as well. 97, 97, and 95 overall. A corner, an outside linebacker, and a wide receiver. So that's going to hurt us, especially when we look at ours, where we're low 80s, high 70s for our best players. Coming to the big house, definitely a little bit nervous in this one. Hawk Disco is going to need to, you know, really rally the troops here. Averaging three turnovers a game right now, we really got to cut back on that if we want to win this. And the Wolverine storm in the field. You know, if they ever come out with a new NCAA game, I'd really like to see them add pride stickers for helmets and the number six team in the nation hoping to get an easy one we're definitely getting a paycheck for playing here so maybe we can app state them sorry uh 2007 michigan fans the coin toss we're gonna with, go with tails because tails never fails and i i was actually kidding i was completely kidding michigan's gonna elect to kick off so we're gonna get the ball to start this one off nunez is back deep to return this opening kickoff and he's gonna have a chance I'm not sure if he'll have the speed and no tried to cut it to the outside it won't work out so bad field position to start this game as well all right let's start this one off on the ground give it to Talib Noel and see if he can get something going for us and that's a nice little cut outside decent three yard gain there first play of the game tried to run this one to the outside this time hoping for a couple of blocks from our wide receivers. And no, we'll cut it upfield. Tlaib Noel falling forward as well. He gets six yards. It's going to be a third and one. I really do just want to keep this on the ground today and not throw any picks. Big play here. One yard and the big house is rocking. And Noel didn't get it. Oh, nothing doing there. But guess what? If you want to win big games, you got to make big plays. Sometimes that means taking a big risk. You better believe we're going to go for it here on 4th and 2. Big, 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 big game. Big play. Kirk, we're going to get him outside of the pocket right away. 
And let's just scramble for this. They don't step up on Richie on that one, and we get 10 yards. It's definitely quieted down after that fourth down conversion. And we'll just keep it on the ground. Again, as much as possible. Noel got some blocks. Maybe not quick enough to hit the hole there and get more than three yards. But we haven't gone really backwards yet, and that's fantastic. Going to pass it here on second down. We've got Norton. We're across midfield. This is such a big first drive. First play in Michigan territory. We're going to give it to Noel again. And, oh, there was nowhere for him to go that time. He just lucky to get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten. We better call a pass here. And that's going to be almost picked off. Oh, we caught a break for sure. That was a very dangerous throw. I didn't want it to have to come to this. But it's third and ten, and we're going to have to try to throw deep. See if somebody can get open. Controller's really shaking now. Here's the pressure with throwing, and Upshaw's got it. Got a couple yards after the catch as well. That was a risky throw, but I guess we just managed to fit it in there. The linebacker wasn't paying enough attention. Just another huge conversion on third down. And Talib Noel, great first down carry for us. Six yards. Michigan's going to be stunned if we can get this one in the end zone. And we're taking a lot of time off the clock as well. Second and four. Noel's got the first. All right. Irby is in for this carry. We'll see if we can maybe bounce him to the outside. And there's some blocking, and Irby is fast. There's a flag down, though. This is going to definitely be against us, I think. Yep, a holding is not going to help. The holding was on Wally Fritz, Mr. Roboto. It's going to give us a first and 18 that we have to try to deal with now. So we're going to go play action. And uh-oh. Well, we, we were able to scramble kind of out of it. And Kirk fumbled the ball. Khalif James picks it up. Oh, the wide receiver absolutely bailed us out. We managed to get three yards on the play, but that was way more scary than it should have been. Second and 15, we're gonna run with a running back here to be safe and, oh, the shifty back just unable to make the linebacker miss. Absolutely leveled. It's gonna be another tough third down here. Keep the running back with us. Hope that somebody can get open. And this is just a prayer. Oh, Upshaw was there. We just barely missed him. It'll be 4th and 14, and I think we might have to settle for a field goal. 38-yarder. The wind kind of across our body. Got all of that one, and it'll be right down the middle, and ooh, just barely snuck it over the top. We got just a couple more yards of range. We're up 3-0 now, and Michigan is going to be able to return this. Can we get some coverage, please, guys? That's all right. They got a little stiff arm cheese, and that's a good return. Hopefully the, the defense can hold here. I still haven't gone through and checked to see uh, who's good at what on defense. So we're going to run in the man to start this one. First and 10. We're there to meet him. But he gets again the stiff arm cheese, and it's a five-yard carry. I checked it on average. It seems that our players are better in the zone, so we're going to be running with that. They're going to scramble here on second and five, and Wilton Spate unable to get anywhere there. It's going to be uh, just him lucky to get back to the line of scrimmage. And now a very big third and five. This looks an awful lot like a run to me. Going to use their safety in case we need to bring him up. And oh, Ferris. Absolutely got beat, but the run or the wide receiver was out of bounds. I thought they were gonna do this. The booth's gonna review it. I do think he might be in. Take another look. No feet on the ground. That's out of bounds. That's absolutely out of bounds. This should be fourth down. What? In what world is that in bounds? What are they saying that I'm not? That they're giving them the first down. And they won't let us challenge it either. All right, let's do a little detective work here. The ball is caught. 
as far as I can tell right there and as far as I can tell both feet are off the ground and the first foot that comes down is a hundred percent out of bounds we got jobbed well we obviously have uh, Big Ten refs today They've got a vested interest in seeing Michigan win this one as we come to the end of the first quarter with a 3-0 lead. I'm still absolutely puzzled as, how to, how, as to how we don't get that one. And, oh, that was a bad miss. It's going to be a 19-yard pass there on that first down. Wilton Spade should absolutely be one of two passing at best right now. We know for a fact he wasn't perfect. First and ten. It's going to be a handoff and just a great job crashing down. Second and seven. Are we going to see another run? I'm going to be using the safety a lot in this game just so that we can maybe stack the box a little bit more. It is going to be a run. Oh, I thought I messed that one up. Was able to recover and we do hit him. It's a six-yard gain, but another third down. Well, we're going to have to blitz here, I think, on third down. It is a handoff. I hit the wrong gap, though. We hit him right about the line, but he falls forward. It's a three-yard gain and a first and goal. Well, that is very upsetting if we give up a touchdown here. Ooh. We were kind of in the right area. I think I might have impeded one receiver, and the ball just bounced off another guy. Second and goal. Gonna be a draw, and we're there to meet him. Nothing. Third and goal from the six now. Big play. Could be maybe a sweep or a screen to that outside. And it'll be a pass. And they find a guy open, but there is a flag down. Illegal touching, he must have ran out of bounds. Absolutely accept that penalty. Force the fourth and goal from the 11. Now we're going to hold this Michigan team to a field goal of their own. And that is no problem for him to hit. Well, both of our first drives are kind of ended by untimely penalties. And Nunez, will he have a chance to get a decent return on any of these? He's got the edge. We saw Nunez have a kick six. And a punt return for a touchdown, and this one's going to come back. He got past the 45, but it's going to be a clipping. And how far back is that going to put us? All the way to the 17. Well, that's not at all what you want to have happen on your kick return. We'll try a play action here. 351 in the half. If we can turn this into a long drive, it might be the last one of the half. And Donnie Schaefer. Nice little route there. We find him for 20 yards downfield. They're dropping a whole lot of guys back into coverage on these. And it'll be Noel getting another carry. And we'll just keep the clock moving. Picking up positive yards is always good for us. Talib Noel is going to get this second down carry. And he breaks a tackle and gets across midfield, but he fumbled it. Thankfully, Dane Upshaw, the tight end, is able to pick it up. Oh, we are getting too lucky right now. We've switched to conservative on the big runs so that maybe we don't fumble as often. And we're going to keep it on the ground here for a while. And we'll go straight back to Noel. Got to show trust in our running back here. And Talib did a good job there getting three yards. Under three minutes in the half. Second and seven will go to the air. I'm just going to roll Richie Kirk out of the pocket on this one. He's got a guy wide open. It's Norton. Juke can't work, but we're inside the red zone. And the running game has been working so well, so we're going to stick with it. Keep burning this clock. I don't want to give Michigan time to score in this half. Somehow Noel's able to get three yards there on the handoff up the middle. Going to give Noel the carry on this sweep here, second and seven. Need positive yards here so we don't get stuck. Oh. So we don't get stuck with a third and long is what I was going to say, but he just absolutely got destroyed. 
This is four down territory if I've ever seen it. Big games, again, require big plays. Kirk's gonna be rolling out of the pocket. Hopefully we can get a nice pass off. They're bringing a little bit of pressure and oh my gosh, Richie Kirk is so fast. He's got the first and goal and he gets out of bounds as well. A minute and 20 and a half. We're in the corner right now with all of the North Main State fans. So we'll give Tlaib and Noel the carry on first and goal. And oh my gosh, he got plastered again. It's another loss of a yard. Jabril Peppers. <laughs> That's a name I haven't heard in a while. All right, Richie. Let's see if he can hold on to the football here. It's a read option, I imagine. Kirk's going to hold it. He will. There's some blocking, and Kirk, well, he got positive yards there. We're back inside the five. 51 seconds in the half. As dangerous as this might be, we're going to just run it to the outside again. Tlaib Noel just needs a couple of blocks. Box is pretty empty. Let's get north and Tlaib Noel. Oh, we've got a big decision here. We're going to run this clock down to one second and then take a timeout. All right, so with a couple of seconds on the clock, we got a big decision to make. I'm feeling a little bit crazy. We'll see how they line up. We've got the QB sneak called, and I think we're going to go with it with Richie Kirk. Big fourth down. Can we can Kirk get it? Oh, I almost had a heart attack on that one. Richie got stuck on the center. Thankfully, we got a little bit of a push. Unfortunately, there is still a second on the clock, but for the time being, we're going to be up nine, hopefully ten to three. Extra point is good. We're just going to squib it here. Just have to tackle the guy. We'll go into halftime with a lead. And that'll do. So at the half, the Dwarves are up 10-3 on the number six Michigan Wolverines. Definitely didn't expect this result. And if we look at the highlights, it's a whole lot of Dwarves. Is this going to be the first fumble? No. Richie Kirk going out of bounds. Some nice passes. Fitting them into weird spots that I guess only we can get to because we're so small. A lot of speed. And uh, some gutsy Gutsy play calling and I'm going to start this second half with a little kickoff and hope our defense can hold. And that's decent coverage. I will take that just about every time. So from the 26, the D did a good job holding them to a field goal last time. Let's see if we can do that again. First and 10, it will be a pass. And they'll just dump it off short. Oh, that's a big broken tackle. Thankfully the safety, Hamilton's able to come up and prevent that from being too much more. I'm still kind of hurt about that overturned call earlier in the first half. First and 10, that's gonna be a run. And what we did there was soak up a blocker, nine yards. Too easy. Second and one. Oh, they're going to get called with a false start. That'll help us. All righty, on second and six, what can we get going? Expecting a run here for sure. It will be. It's to the outside. And we've got the speed to force the fourth down. Or Sorry, the third down. Make sure that our guys are up here. I'm going to say it's a run to the right. It's up the middle. They handed it off to the fullback. And we hit him, but he's able to fall for just enough. That was close. Michigan's going to be across midfield, and they're trying to assert their will here with the run game. It's going to be another handoff. Oh, and he changes directions. I don't know if I agree with that. Only ends up with two yards there. One thing is for sure, not a whole lot of people are going to be outrunning the Dwarves. Second and eight. They're going to go to the air. And let's see, can we make a stop? Well, we get him in another third down, but it's third and short. Bring the blitz here on third and two. Gonna hope to stop the run. Focused on Smith again. Oh, wow, we snuck through the line. And we'll hit him at the line of scrimmage. It's gonna be fourth and two, and this is a tough spot for the Wolverines. And they're gonna elect to go for it. This is a long one. 
We've got the punt return team out, and Gene Nunes, who's already got one kick six on the year, back to return it. He's going to get a chance, it looks like. Oh, Gene Nunes is so dangerous in these spots. He's out running, guys. And, oh, just couldn't quite get there. If he beats that guy, it's just the kicker he has to worry about. That would have been 109 yards. Well, we kind of hurt ourselves in the field position game with that attempt at the kick six, but you got to go for home run plays like that all the time. Play action on first down, and it's Donnie Schaefer across midfield immediately. 19 more yards. We have had some explosive pass plays. And hopefully we have some more explosive running. To leave Noel, just going to make a couple of moves and get four yards there on that first down. We'll try the quick slants here on second and six. And they're bringing a little bit of pressure. I don't feel comfortable, that's for sure. I don't feel comfortable with any of this. Just have Richie step up and step out of bounds. Wasn't able to get any yardage out of it, but we stay safe. Really big third and six here. Although, obviously, we will probably go for it on fourth down. And Tlaib Noel picks up a couple of blocks. Just barely, barely outruns the defensive end. Is able to get north, and it's a fourth and inches. So, yeah, we're going to go for it. On fourth down, we've called the QB sneak. We're going to try it. Or maybe we see if we get him offside first. One more hard count. Ah, we jumped. It's a false start on us, so we're still going to go for it. But it's going to have to be a pass. Fourth and five. Man, the Michigan line just a little bit too disappointed. Richie Kirk again. Ooh, thinking about rolling outside the pocket. Instead, it's Norton. He absolutely bowls over a man, and we just barely, barely got it past the first down marker. With our seven-point lead here late in the third, we're going to go to the conservative tempo and start to burn out this clock as much as we can, although that's certainly not going to help. Tlaib Noel just got blasted again. Try the same thing here on second and 11. And Noel gets back a little bit past the original line of scrimmage. Irby comes in for a play now, third and nine. You know how explosive he can be. Right up the middle, and oh, that didn't work out nearly as well as we were hoping. Fourth and six, we're gonna kick the field goal here uh, at the start of the fourth quarter. Maybe, if it's in our range actually. We, we'll go into the fourth quarter break. Yeah, we've got a lead, we just are gonna try to hold on to it at this point. Well, I didn't mean to. But it turns out I've called a, a pass play. Not at all intentional. I don't know if I can get it off. We do. B is open. It's James. He holds onto it. And we got the first down. Oh, Khalif James bails me out there. I tried to hit a button to go to my special teams plays. And I accidentally picked a pass. So we are incredibly lucky. Oh, wow. Th that hurts Michigan a lot. Because we get to start burning some of the fourth quarter here. Maybe we have a chance to score a touchdown. Although Noel's not going to have anything going there. They're getting very keyed into the run. We're still going to go to Noel. He goes north and he got quite a bit there. Six yards. Gives us a third and five to work with. Now that we're in field goal range, I don't mind kicking a field goal. So we're just going to keep it on the ground on third down. So we can burn a little bit more clock. And Noel's got it. Uh-oh. That's uh, real scary for Michigan. They have to get a stop. And they've got to get it quick. Wouldn't be surprised if we see Michigan start taking their time out soon here. We'll just continue to feed Noel. Even if he's not getting positive yards, we're burning clock. And this could just be a low-scoring classic Big Ten game. This one could be dangerous. We've got Irby, but it's a speed option. So we have to make sure we make a safe read here. And we will. Irby, the speedster. Oh, he was looking to get away into the end zone. Third and seven. We're inside the 10-yard line. One more handoff here. Get it to around two minutes in the game. I can get it. 2.30 left. Noel's got a lot of room to work with. He couldn't quite pick up the first down. We're going to let the clock burn down and kick a field goal. As much as I... Wish we could go for the dagger and just run it on him. 
We'll make it a two-score game here with less than two minutes to play. Michigan has all their timeouts. But not a whole lot of time to work with. A return here would be huge for him. Good job from the return team. Or the kickoff team to stop it. Defensively, we know it's going to be a lot of passing here. So we just got to be aware of our surroundings and try to maybe pick one off. Man in motion here. They do go there, but we'll tackle them inside that first down marker so the clock will keep moving and they're going to go to the hurry up. This is going to be one long drive if they're able to do anything with it. And that's a sack. Somehow, apparently, we have good enough pressure. They haven't taken any timeouts yet. They're hoping that they can score quick and use them to stop us, but they're burning clock. Third and five. Just over a minute to go. And I've left a guy open, but I had to cover the close one. That's the man who I left open. Maybe a big mistake for me. We do get the tackle inbounds. Uh, Jake Butt. I forgot about Jake Butt. One of the greatest named tight ends ever. Just over a minute now. They're inside the red zone. And we've tackled them in bounds again. So Michigan's forced to take their first time out. 56 seconds on the clock. And the light of fire skill is going to be real dangerous for us. I'd be very surprised if they did anything other than pass. And... Oh, we're going to get called for a face mask, so that'll give them some free yardage and stop the clock. That's a shame. Undisciplined. First and goal from the six. I'm just going to rush three here. User Frederick here, the linebacker who's supposed to go into coverage, and actually they're going to run. Curious decision. Michigan forced to take their second time out. They got half of the yards they needed. But it's still not enough. One timeout, 47 seconds left, and they're down 10. I don't agree with that call at all. And there it is. Oh, this is getting close. 43 seconds on the clock. It's about to be a field goal game. If they can get the onside, we're in trouble. But one timeout, if we get the ball, it's over. Onside team out. Come on. Have good hands today, boys. And James has it. Khalif James, the star wide receiver, is able to grab onto it and get onto the ground. That's going to do it. We're able to kneel this ball out. Michigan probably takes that first time out. They will. And one more time, we're able to just knee the clock, essentially. And go home with a huge upset. Third game of the season. We upset number six Michigan 13 to 10 in the big house. We do have to run this play. So I'm actually going to take a timeout and just uh, kneel it again. Because I don't want to fumble here. It's not worth the risk. And that'll do it. Triple zeros on the clock. The Short Kings reign in Ann Arbor today. Oh, things never seem to go well for Michigan. And just what a game from the Dwarves. The defense especially looking incredible, and the offense just coming up big in clutch situations. The speed of this team is a little bit too ridiculous, I think. We might have to look into altering that because the way that we're able to take off when things get scary is seriously impressive. We get a decent amount of XP, especially that, that extra 75 for beating a top 10 team is going to be huge. Through the air, Richie Kirk has a much better game. 180 pass rating, 7 for 9. Only 110 yards and no touchdowns. But he stayed safe, no interceptions, doesn't get sacked at all. And averages 15 per completion. On the ground, Noel takes it 24 times for 75 yards. So a lot of a lot of carries, not a huge amount of yards. Uh, and he did have a fumble, so did Kirk. And then uh, Donald Irby, only carrying it twice for five yards. We might have to up the amount of carries that Irby is getting. Receiving, 
It's AJ Norton and Donnie Schaefer that are really the stars. Three receptions for 46 yards for Norton, two for 39 for Schaefer. Great averages, and they were all coming up clutch. And then Keon Wilcox with that big sack. Really going to help us. The pass rushing left end. Twice as many first downs. Uh, more total offense. A pretty competent running game. We only gave up 32 rushing yards. That's nasty. And 133 through the air. We absolutely shrunk the game down. They did go 3 of 4 on fourth downs. Um, and they were still 100% in the red zone. We just didn't let them get in there very often. Uh, 15 kick return yards for us, only 95 for them. And just absolutely slaughtering in the time of possession battle. Nothing too crazy happens around the nation. Kansas State does beat Texas. And Utah wins the Holy War. Richie Kirk is our offensive player of the game, and rightfully so. Very accurate arm, and he did a lot on the ground. 20 yards on 9 carries and a rushing touchdown as well. And Brock Ferris, the outside linebacker, five tackles, a tackle for loss, and the sack as well. A thin win indeed. North Main State finds a way to win against Michigan. I got to say, I kind of disagree with that headline because we didn't just find a way to win. We controlled that game. It was Michigan that was scrambling at the end. We'll advance through the week to see if maybe we we're ranked in the top 25. And we've got what I thought was going to be, you know, just our, our cupcake game against Rice, but maybe this was it. A bunch of recruits ready to visit. We're going to set those up, hopefully against a good opponent. Again, all that XP, although it feels like we're still such a long way from leveling up. Taking a look at ESPN, Michigan falls all the way down to number 22. We almost knocked them completely out of the polls. And looking at our true ranking, I guess we're 65. So a ways off, and apparently we're a six-star prestige school at 72 overall. So I guess whoever made this team builder jacked everything up, and then when I came through and altered the ratings to make everybody good, it didn't alter the prestige at all. So we are going to get a little bit of a benefit from that. So I might try to uh, I might try to find a way to cut down on that benefit because being a higher prestige school definitely has its benefits. If we look now, Richie Kirk is the 128th best passer in the nation. Less than 200 yards. We're only a couple weeks in, and there's guys with 1,200 yards. Almost 1,300 yards passing. That's incredible. Rushing-wise, Talib Noel is top 100. 239 yards. Uh, Ferris? is the 16th best tackler in the nation at 16 tackles. That's interesting. And Wilcox is going to be 25th in the nation in sacks with three so far. And Lester with the one pick that the team has down all the way at 213th. And kicking wise, Jolly is going to have that 38 yarder that we just barely snuck over to get him into the top 80. Not too impressive. Uh, we definitely need to take a look at some difficulty settings to make sure that this isn't too easy for us. I want it to be, you know, possible to win those games like against Michigan. Um, but I want it to be a lot more difficult, I think, than that was. And a game like this against an 0-3 Rice should be still a battle. Whereas right now I'm a little bit worried that it might be a uh, cakewalk for us. So we're going to look. Maybe we change the speed threshold or just make it so that our team is just completely terrible. I might edit the rosters a little bit to lower some ratings. But definitely, there are going to be some changes that I think we need to make. That's going to do it for us. If you guys want to watch us play more NCAA, we're live pretty often throughout the week on twitch.tv slash 69 where we have the opposite of this, the Western Arizona University Giraffes. Instead of being five foot five to five foot nine, the players are six foot seven to seven foot and incredibly slow. Uh, regardless, thank you for watching to the end of this one. I really appreciate it. Uh, you know, hit the subscribe button if you want to know when more of these come live. We're going to be changing up the the content that's kind of on the channel. A lot less stream highlights, and if there are stream highlights, they'll be better cut so that I'm not spamming 
your guys' sub inboxes. Uh, but thank you for sticking through this. And hopefully you guys are enjoying the Short Kings. I know I am. I hope I can make it more difficult and more fun at the same time. Uh, you guys are the Short Kings. I'm Poonmaster69. Thank you for hanging out. And we'll see you later. Adios.